Hey guys, it's been a while. I've been gone doing work and other things, and I am in the process of uh, coming out here and checking out my wind turbines and installing a different controller. I'm going to have all F Evers over here, and I'm going to be using this one in my uh, Bambi trailer. So y'all want to see what these turbines are putting out? I know a lot of guys are following. I want you to look at the wattage of that. That's the 500 watt turbine. Wind speeds are gusting to 25. So there you go right there. There's your 800 watt turbine. And so we have base winds of 17 with gust at 25 right now. And then here is my Thermodyne built, home built. If you go look at the videos on it, it's a chaos. So there we go. That is a 700 watt turbine. No problems with it at all. It's running on about eight years old now. And here is the 800 watt turbine. And this one here has actually seen a 1700 watt peak. Um, I for sure thought it was going to be toast, but it did not. And then of course the little 500 watt one down here doing what they do. Look at the amps coming in on that thing. So you're looking at 22 amps on that one over there. You're looking over here, you're seeing 87 amps, 1200 watts on an 800 watt turbine. And look below the video, I'll put the links to every one of these, including parts if you like to build this. And I am going to draw a diagram, a schematic on how to build that offset power furling turbine uh, at some point. So um, I'll always put the turbine product links below the video. That way y'all can go in there and you can read reviews and you can buy them if you want them. They do survive the damnedest storms. And for us, if you look over here and see this, um, an 800 watt turbine, uh, you know, if they're supposed to make 800 watts and that's at a 24 mile an hour rating. So you can see what this one does. Once it exceeds 24 mile an hour, it just blows your socks off. So we saw some major peaks of 1735 watts on this turbine. And that is impressive. That's double its rating. But of course the wind was 35 miles per hour. So, um, and it does produce, those over there produce from 10 up uh, really well. Uh, they'll actually make power from 7, but really well from 10 up. We're sitting here looking at a Tracer A-Series, and I want to show you all something. This big thing here is a 50 amp. That's it. Now, I've got 48 amps that come in on this solar. This is at night. This is nighttime, so I'm out here right now at 5 in the morning before the sun comes up. This is when you need to mess with your solar. Uh... This one's nice. This one has a built-in fuse. This one has multiple different links for, for uh, hookups and tying them together. You see down in here. And ooh, here's your big peak. Look at that. 1,500 watts. 1,500 watts. 800 watts. Yeah, I could hear it over my head. So um, Now, uh, and there she is diverting now. But um, this unit right here is a good unit, and it's working great. It is not had an issue it has dual cooling fans in it but just for aesthetics i want to go f ever all the way now i can't put a 40 amp in like these these are 40 amp and they run about 37 amps on both of them constant this one runs right at about 46 and a half to 48 amps constant so i couldn't put a 40 in i ordered a 50. now this 50 i want to show you the significant difference look at this this shows you the grade level up that these newer models have. Now, uh, below, I'm going to put a video to a company in uh, Virginia. Look below, below where I list the turbines, and you're going to see a video to a company that they're also selling one that you really want for your RV because it actually has a split cycle charging capability. You really do want that. And the reason you want that is because it'll actually use the isolator in your RV to bulk your batteries. And it's, it's impressive. I'll send you a link to that. Uh, Hurricane Wind Power is the one that's selling them. And I'll put a link to his video. If you look below his video, you can go to the store and probably get a hell of a discount instead of getting them off Amazon or something. So we're going to be mounting this. Now, what I'm going to be doing is taking just standard quarter 20 nuts. And I'm going to be spacing them off the wall like we have back here. So that it allows a lot more airflow up and through there. And some people say, well, you know, you got to keep it tight so it speeds the air up. Not really. 
you just need not you're not going to get rid of a lot of heat if you're radiating it to the surface behind you either so it actually helps to raise them up now all of mine are done that way you can see down in there okay so i have two 40s and i just want you to look now these are good these are really really good at 40 amp they really do well they'll handle 42 uh, they won't put it through but they'll handle it being pushed against them this one here will handle 55 pushed against it and I'm not going to worry about it because I'm just under 50 and that's all I needed they're proving that you don't have to um, underrate your solar for these so look below I put a video link or a product link to where this one comes from because at 200 bucks it's about the cheapest I could find it um, if you even go to AliExpress, you might get them for 200 but like Amazon, they want 260 for this same one. And it's not worth paying the extra 60 for the same thing. Uh, everybody knows F. Ever is a company out of Taiwan. Um, they do make a better product. I think they're outsourced parts out of both Taiwan, China, and who knows. But as far as substantial quality, this is a monster of quality. So think about that. 50 amp versus... 40 amp. Now that's that's a hell of a thing. So let me get it mounted on here. Uh, the process is going to be simple. There's no sun. There's no power coming in. You see here, okay? There's no power coming in. We have just a presence on the uh, panels right now. So there's just a presence, and there'll be a voltage reading in this one because it will do that. And as you can see, nothing is going on. Uh, voltage 14.3 from my 14. Point Four, um, and then you look over here, you'll see this. By the time the power gets down this DC cable and gets a reading over here, setting this one at 14 and a half volts, it works perfect for my diversion. Um, not to get off subject, but so you'll know what's going on back here. All right, we're going to get this one set up. I'm going to show y'all something here. Um, wind turbines are health for your battery. It's a big battery bank, big, huge box. They're healthy for your battery. Go look at my other videos. A wind turbine has a very impressive, spiky charging cycle that really helps your batteries. It keeps them clean, makes them last longer. So if you have deep cycle batteries, it'll make them last longer. If you have lithium, it'll probably destroy them. But uh, I don't spend the kind of money on lithium. I don't waste my money like that. Anyhow, I couldn't get the parts out of China now, if you know what I mean, uh, to, to buy if I have a failure part on a lithium you can't even hardly get to part now. So, and it might get worse. But let's stand along and look at this. You buy the most dependable ones you can find, shipped out of Hong Kong, and you don't have to worry. Let me get that put on there, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's hooked up. I'll give you some more specs on it. All right, guys, we've got it put in place, and now look at the huge difference. 50 amp. Now, this, now to be fair, this 50 amp is the lowest amperage of the 50 to 100 amp system. And, um, yeah, look at my nicotine stain fingers. My cigars are getting me. Um, this, however, is all I needed. I didn't need to pay 260 for a 60 amp. 50 amp was very sufficient. So if you've got a 40 amp that's always getting too hot, and once they get hot, they do lose efficiency, move up to this, and then you know put you in a few more panels on your old 40 but put less on it now um over here this little controller here is just kind of they're trying to make a knockoff of this one here so in it to be fair to it it has a pusher fan and an exhaust fan and it does have pretty good size heat sinks and i have looked inside and it's got full you see those two bolts coming through that is full transformers for the MPPT feature and it is this thing will take in 9 volts and charge my 12 volt battery bank uh, it starts that way it ends its day that way it really is efficient I'll put a link below the video to this one this one has been actually impressive but I don't need a 100 amp capability here and I, I really want to go there see so now you can see all of this I'll get a little closer so it allows you to remotely control load on and things like that. And we'll put this on and I'll get some screws in it and you'll see how it looks. The MPPT is an important feature when you don't want to buy a whole lot more solar or in the case that we're dealing with right now, we're dealing with a reduced solar 
capacity right now. You can go look it up. Uh, look it up. Uh, reduced solar output from the sun is going on right now. So if you have a chance to get away from a PWM, pulse width modulation, and go to an MPPT, you don't have to worry about that loss anymore. And for us, we have all of this. We have, of course, this one is now going to go on the Bambi trailer that will be having uh, uh, 1,100 watts on its roof because we need that for it being a remote power trailer. And then over here, we have two more 50 amp controllers, but I'm, gonna, I'm only going to put in about 40 amps on each one of these and not have to worry about them. But they also, because on the back of the shop is another thousand watts so i'm going to put 500 watts into each one of those now that also we have the wind controls as you can see here plenty of my videos on that and then over here i'm going to have to make room in this spot right here because i have the cabling that's going to be soon coming down you can see up there for the hurricane wind turbine as if i need that more power but the good thing about that hurricane wind turbine is it allow me to take something out of service and during low wind keep it running but i'm going to be going with a three-way bypass and inside here's the bathroom and there's the jacuzzi the floor's almost finished yeah i'm a lazy butt and behind the jacuzzi inside there in that room over there is a tank water hot water so my my hurricane wind turbine is actually going to be running a thousand watts of elements into a tank i actually want it to do that and it's going to be set with a different one now the hurricane wind turbine can handle that that's the reason we're going to do it um its windings are like freaking medieval It'll handle it. And look below the video. I'll put your links to where you can go see the Hurricane Wind Turbine. And if you if you send them an email and you put down sent by Pokey, you'll get some money off. That's a good idea. I'd do that. I'm not repped by him, but he just told me um, in an email back to me when I asked him, if I send people, uh, you help them? He said, yeah. So uh, another thing we've done out here is watch this. Going back to my machine room as the lights just turn on. Oh, look, more panels as the lights just turn on and then of course my machine room has its wall finished and that but everywhere you look is <laughs> ain't finished the roof on it um is sensors so you keep going sensors and sensors so a lot of stuff in the shop that i've been doing guys because we have a lot of junk going on in the country but what do you think put your comments below if you want people to learn how to do this um, this is a head start. And if you see this and it looks like a big cluster, it's not. Watch a lot of the videos. You'll see how all this came together. You'll see how the flow-through braking system I designed works. You'll see how my safety overload braking system works. You'll see how my cooling system works. It's all in the video. Look at all of these controllers and, and stuff up in here. Even, you name it, everything. Look, lights are going off as we sit here. They're just slowly going off because they're all set on a minute and they'll continue to go off if I'm not walking near those sensors up in there. So um, you guys look below the video. I'll put everything I'm working with down there and we're gonna get a good report on this. When I do the next video, I will give you a flow rate on each one of those. You can see it says nighttime and you can see right there it says nighttime. There's nothing coming in on the solar and I can bounce between them all and It'll tell you everything. So pretty good. I would do nothing but Ep ever. And it's worth the money. And as far as if you own a Midnight Classic um, and you're fighting it to try to figure out how to tune it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't do that. I just install and go to the house and have some coffee. All right, guys, y'all be good. As you can see, the wind's dying down. This is that wind's down to, I think Kira said just a minute ago, my daughter brought me coffee. Boom. And I think she said it's down to about 14, so there's 14 miles per hour on the 800 watt turbine. It's the best damn turbine I ever bought. But that uh, hurricane wind turbine is going to make my jacuzzi a warm place to be. Y'all be good.